Oh, hey there guys, good to see you there. Thank you for tuning in to Crew Kicks this week. Today I'm here to speak to you about a quick guide. Yes, I said a quick guide on how to spot a fake. Let's get to it. First things first is the box. Tip number one is to always look at the box firmly. Look at the font of the box. It'll tell you a lot of things. For example, maybe the one and the zero are too far apart. And if you can't know it just on site, find your friend's box or go to your local sneaker shop. Now you have to look at the size of the box, the color of the box, and the font and the size tag. Another thing you have to look at is what comes with the shoe. If you buy Easy 350 Boost and it comes with matching socks, it's most likely fake. So always pay attention to what comes with the shoe. So you're saying it's $10 for this brown rice? Forget it, I don't want it. Now, you have to pay close attention to the prices. If the shoe market value is at $1,000 and you get it for $200 on a website, it's most likely fake. If someone's giving you a great deal and you only pay $500 and the shoe's worth about two grand, you guessed it, it's most likely fake. $10 for some brown rice. Now let's get to the actual shoe. One of the first things you look at is the height of the shoe. You always have to look at if one is taller or one is shorter. You have to go into the details, the small details. The pattern on the shoe and the material that they use. You even have to compare the stitching on how consistent the stitching is. Always compare the font on the shoe, including the size tags. Another thing, you kind of have to weigh both of the shoes. Now, if you don't have a sneaker to compare it to, look at pictures online. Everyone has Google or go to your local sneaker shop and compare it there. Oh, and by the way, these flu games, they're fake as fuck. You like buying fake sneakers? Don't pay attention to a word I just said. However, hopefully this guide helps a lot of people from buying fakes. Good night, guys. Hello?